In a Zoom call with reporters, tribal elders from the Cowess's First Nation in Canada's Saskatchewan province showed this drone footage of a gravesite. They say ground-penetrating radar has found evidence of 751 potential graves. The elders say the headstones were removed around 1960. Most of the sites are about one meter by one meter, believed to be the graves of children. The Catholic Church representatives removed these headstones and today they are unmarked graves. This follows the discovery of 215 bodies in a mass grave last month at the Kamloops Catholic Residential School in British Columbia. These little ones, these precious little ones who were buried unceremoniously with disrespect and disregard are giving us a real opportunity to reflect again on, on who we are as Canadians, Indigenous people and others. Indigenous children were taken from their families and sent to these residential schools, where they were taught to ignore their tribal heritage, learn English, and adopt Catholicism. They were the sites of widespread physical and mental abuse. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has apologized for the abuse at the Catholic schools, but the Pope has so far not apologized. At the UN, China has called the abuse of Indigenous children in Canada a, quote, serious human rights violation. We call for a thorough and impartial investigation into all cases where crimes were committed against the indigenous people, especially the children. The Cowess's First Nation will continue its search and expects to find more burial sites. It is now trying to identify those buried in the unmarked graves. We all must put down our ignorance and accidental racism of not addressing the truth that this country has with indigenous people. We are not asking for pity, but we are asking for understanding. We need time to heal, and this country must stand by us. But before the healing can begin, the chief says the truth must be told. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.